Hello, good people. This is Sherry Shine, owner and designer for Sharika Originals Handcrafted Gifts, where we create jewelry for those who are deliberately different. We also create YouTube tutorials to bring out your creative genius. Today, I'm putting together some three-part earrings, and they require jump rings. I have looked all over my studio, and I cannot find the right size jump rings. So I am forced to create my own jump rings. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, uh, you're going to need your wire cutters, of course. You need your wire. I have 20 gauge wire. Uh, you need some flat nose pliers. These are flat nose with a hook on it. Um, one of the tools that we're going to need use is a looper. You don't have to have a looper, but I'm just going to show you how I use the looper. Um, I also have um, some double um, side cutters that are flat. Um, it's, it's like cutters, but uh, they cut flat instead of um, on one side. It has a, a kind of a point. Okay, I also have a knitting needle, which is one of the tools that you could use. All right, let's go. Well, let me show you. I I found these little tiny jump rings that I had, and I can't use these for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna make some that are a little bit larger. Okay, I have my 20 gauge wire. The first way we're gonna uh, make them is with the, the uh, looping pliers. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them uh, the smallest size. So what I do is I start my wire here and then I let me start it here and then I just in fact I'm gonna push it up to the and then I just turn and turn and turn for however many uh, wires uh, jump rings I'm gonna want. So I'm just gonna. Just gonna keep going until I get to the end of this loop. The wire that I'm using is is para wire, and it is uh, tarnish resistant. So it's um uh, I like using it. Okay, I'm gonna maybe I'll stop here. For each one of the the pair of earrings that I'm using, I need one, two three jump rings, so that means I need at least uh, six per pair, three times six, 18, so I need 18 jump rings. So I'll keep going on this one, and then I'll go ahead and pull it off, and then when I pull it off, I'm going to separate the jump rings. That's where the, the wire cutter comes in. So I'll just stop now. So I'll pull them off. So this is what you have here. So I'm going to cut these here. And I'm going to cut turning, turning the blade to the flat side. Okay. All right. Boy, oh, I got all kinds of stuff on, on my nails. All right. So now... We're going to take our cutters and turn the flat side to where we want to cut. On this first one, we're going to cut them one at a time. So I'm going to pull this one out a little bit so I don't get so I don't, don't get two of them. And I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to let it in my little cup so I won't have them all over the place. Then I'm going to turn my cutters around the other way and cut the next side. Cut it close. Okay. And then you just keep turning back and forth because you want uh, both sides to have a straight edge. You don't want um, if you use this side, your your wire is going to have a sharp edge, but we want a flat edge to it. 
Now another way that you can get a flat edge is to use um, these, uh, oh, they're, both sides are flat, so you don't have to keep turning. So these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. And since both sides are flat, you can cut as many as you can get on there. Come on, cut, cut, cut. Okay, I'm having trouble here. Let's separate these a little bit. Cut, and then cut. Okay, so let me, now another item that you can use is a, a knitting needle if it's the right size for the jump rings that you want. So I'll do a few on, knit, on the knitting needle. Just start your and you just keep turning until you have as many as you want. Let me roll that out a little bit. Maybe I'll roll about 10. That should give me enough to do what I need to do. <clears throat> and this saves me from having to run to Hobby Lobby or Michaels to get jump rings. And then um, also you can make whatever size you need. As long as you have uh, something, a cylinder to um, turn it on, that is the right size. So I'm going to stop here. And this is what we have. I'm going to use my flat cutters to cut. there and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut always start you start right where you ended the second one so that you'll have a complete circle I mean the first one I'm seeing the second one Okay, so now I think I have enough jump prints. So I will show you how I'm going to finish these earrings. <clears throat> these are, these components are pieces that I, I put, this is fabric that I put on wood. So I, I have uh, lots of videos where I show how, how I apply fabric to wood and uh, with Mod Podge or white glue. And um, I painted the back, painted the back gold. And um, then I put UV resin on here to just give it this beautiful shine. So that's how I made these components. And I might, I think I'm about ready to do a de-stash on my components because after I make so many pair of earrings, I don't want to use them again because most of my earrings are one of a kind, and that's that's why I don't post a lot on my on my uh, website because most of the earrings I make are not earrings that I'm gonna uh, be able to make uh, over and over again. So let me try this one. Let me open up this jump ring. And when you open up a jump ring, you just turn it. You don't open it, you turn it from side to side. So I'm gonna put this side on. 
and now I need to make sure that it's okay 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 don't tell me I made these too small Oops, I'm really fiddling. Okay, got it. Yay. So now all I need to do is bring the sides together. Now these look like I need to pull them together like that. Okay, there. All right. So let me get another one, do the other side. Open it up, pull it up, pull it from side to side. And in on one side. And then okay, go on, go on in there. You see why I, I jump rings are not my favorite? Because <laughs> it takes all of this fiddling to do. If somebody's got an easier way to do the jump rings, you guys show me because I need help with this. I always, I could have made these jump rings a little bit bigger too. This is really a, a close fit, but it's okay. Thick work, okay. One more for the oh yeah one more jump ring for this earring. Oh, that looks small. Okay, gonna open it up by pulling it side to side. Okay. Here's that one. There's that one. So now I can use my pendant clasp ear hooks to put my hip here. This is a pendant clasp ear hook, and it. What I like about it is that I. It does not require me to use a jump ring with it. So, so easy. Just put the first part of the hook in. Turn it over, press it down into the other side, then take your pliers and make sure it's closed down securely. And we are done. I'm going to finish up the rest of these. I am preparing for uh, a couple of vendor events. So I'm going to present these babies to my customers. These are one of a kind. All right, good people, this is Sherry Shine, owner and designer of Sharika Originals Handcrafted Gifts, where we create jewelry for those who are deliberately different. We also create YouTube tutorials to bring out your creative genius. And this is Sherry saying, as always, be blessed.